Greetings YouTube. I have kind of an interesting experiment here today. I have here a Dyson UP13. Um, and as we know it's really just a DC41 uh, with a few slight modifications. And one of those slight modifications is the cleaner head. So Dyson at some point decided to elongate the cleaner head uh, and put in a separate scoop here. And what this scoop is supposed to do is it's supposed to encase the brush roller for more efficient airflow and then it sucks off the top. Now there's only about so much in gap it can suck through so it ends up really just restricting airflow in this variant. In the original variant which also had an extra brush strip it didn't restrict airflow as much but still had a small guard but a much smaller guard. So I'm going to do something I discovered a little while ago. I'm going to throw the guard away. We're going to assemble it. And find that. So one thing that I do like about the newer Dyson products is that the brush rollers are designed to be user changeable. Not that your user probably is going to need to change it because something else will definitely fail before the brush roller will fail. But nevertheless, it is interesting to see Phillips screwdrivers on a Dyson vacuum. So we're going to quickly put this back together on purpose, misassembled. Uh, and we're going to run it with the uh, out that piece. We're also going to run over here in the corner I have a nozzle from the floor model machine at my store that we're going to simply that is unmodified it is the same nozzle that has this lovely piece in it. So this one has that lovely piece stuck in it. This one does not. The, uh, and uh, in case you guys didn't know, the nozzle from the, the big ball, the DC-41, the UP-13, the UP-14, DC-77, they're all the same now. They're using the same nozzle. So modified nozzle, stock nozzle. Um, and I guess what we'll do uh, for the purpose of the video is we will put a small piece of tape on there so you know which one's which. Um, so we're going to go ahead, and I've got a Dyson here that's relatively clean, and it has clean filters and everything. Um, so, and this Dyson came in with a clog, and I unclogged it. It was only a few months old, so that's the other thing is that this, this Dyson is relatively young. So it's not worn out like they usually are when they come to me. So that's kind of an oddity in itself. Of course, I'm trying to do this on camera for you rather than upside down on my bench how I usually do it. All right, so that's snapped on. All right, so I've got some salt, food, uh, breakfast cereal, k -pop. We're gonna have to do some overlapping here since my bench isn't wide enough, but you'll get a general idea. So, one thing you'll notice is some hair was definitely left behind over there, uh, almost exactly where this thing is. So, I have to say that the agitation on this is so much better than previous models of Dyson's. It's still no, uh, still not as good as a DC uh, 27 or a DC 17. God forbid you had a DC-28. Uh. And there's going to be something you're going to note. 
So that's the modified one. That's the unmodified one. Now, I don't know how well you guys can see this, but the unmodified one cleaned worse than the misassembled one that I just did without this piece. So, for whatever reason, I'm going to call it airflow. Taking this piece out of your Dyson makes it clean better. Uh, <laughs> kind of a strange thing. Again, there's not a huge cleaning difference there, but there is a small cleaning difference. And it's something when I was putzing around one day, uh, saying, you know, they really didn't change anything but this and take some strips off the brushes. And that's exactly what they did. Now, I'll show you what we did suck up. So we did actually suck up some good stuff. Um, got some sand in there too, which is kind of unusual for Dyson. Um, so yeah, tell me your thoughts below on uh, removing the airflow restrictor, which I, uh, by the way, I'm not liable if you remove this and you somehow break your vacuum. That's not my responsibility. Um, so, again, airflow restriction removed. Cleaned better than the stock one with the airflow restrictor. That's what I'm going to call that. Uh, Hoover would call that wind tunnel technology. So as always, please like, subscribe, and again, your thoughts below.